Hello students, welcome to the e-classes conducted by St. Xavier School Adipu. I am Dhanlakshmi Pule, I am here to take science class for standard 9. Today we will be studying lesson 5, the fundamental unit of life. Fundamental means basic, basic unit of life. The cell was first discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665. While observing a thin slice of cork through a self-designed microscope, he saw small structures, small hollow structures. These structures resemble a honeycomb. So, he named these structures as cell. The cell is derived from the Latin word cellula, means a little room. Robert Hooke could observe only the outer wall of the cell because cock cells are not live cells. Have you ever realized what are living organisms made up of? For a layman, plants are made up of roots, stems and leaves and animals are made up of flesh and bones. But in turn, what are these bones, flesh, leaves, roots, stems are made up of? They are made up of microscopic units called cell. So, the body of all the living organisms like bacteria, fungi, plants and animals are made up of cell. Let us see activity 5.1, the microscopic examination of onion peel. Okay. If you observe the slide of onion peel under a microscope, you will see small structures. All these structures are similar. These structures, these small structures make up a large structure that is onion bar. Okay? So, if you make a temporary slides of peel of onions of different sizes and observe them under the microscope, you will find the similar structures. So that means these similar structures and small structures are the building units of onion bud. On the basis of number of cells, organisms can be classified into two, unicellular and multicellular. As the name suggests, unicellular, uni means one, one celled organisms, amoeba, paramecium, chlamydomonas, bacteria. These organisms are formed from one single cell and they constitute the whole organism. Multicellular organism, multi means many, formed from many cells. Fungi, plants, animals are the examples of multicellular organisms. The cell in these organisms, they group together, form tissue and these tissues uh, form different parts of the body. The two bot uh, botanists, Shelidon and Sean, in 1839, proposed a cell theory okay, and that stated, plants and uh, animals are composed of cells and cell is the basic unit of life. Rudolf Virchow, in 1857, expanded this theory and stated all cells arise from pre-existing cells, pre-existing cells, a very important point. 
very important pre-existing cells. That means the cells divide, the cells divide, yeah, and form their own kinds. These cells, so multicellular organisms are formed from single cell. All these multicellular organisms are formed from single cells. Coming to shape and size of cells, do all the cells have, are similar in shape and size? No. The shape and si size of cells are related, they are related to the specific function they perform. They are related to the specific function they perform. For example, amoeba, the unicellular animal. Amoeba keeps changing its shape for mobility. And that means it does not have fixed shape. Nerve cells, muscle cells, bone cells, uh, blood cells, these are the few examples for the cells uh, that have fixed shapes. Nerve cells, they perform the function of transmission of nerve impulses. So they have fixed shape. Muscle cells, they contract and relax. And so these are these are the example of fixed shape cells. Now, how do living organisms perform basic function? The living organisms perform basic functions by division of labor. They perform functions by division of labor. between different organisms. By division of labor between different organisms. Different cells have different jobs allotted to them and they work as a team to and perform for the proper functioning of the body. For example, in human body, body, heart pumps blood. Stomach perform the function of digestion. Kidney removes toxic waste. So, by division of labor between the different organ, uh, organs, living organism perform basic functions. The division of labor is also can be seen in few microorganisms also, that is in unicellular organisms also we can see division of labor. Now a cell, cell has many components within it. These components are called cell organelles. These organelles perform various functions, various specific functions like making new materials in the cell, removing waste materials from the cell, providing energy to the cell. So cell uh, can live and perform because of these cell organelles. Cell organelles 
cons constitute a unit of life that is say. Okay students, that's all for today. I hope you have understood this part. Before we take up the next part of this lesson, I would like to give you some homework. In case of any doubt, mail me at dhp190 at gmail.com.